Sam's Club. This is your club. <laughs> Best burritos in town from Sam's Club. Karen, mm -hmm. how do you feel with me filming your wedding? Making cinema. I'm like, I, I didn't wash my face today, so... No. <laughs> That's so not feel, the question. <laughs> so I feel, no, I haven't finished answering it. Okay. Yeah, so I feel a bit uh, like you're in my space right now. I am in your space. <laughs> <laughs> Look, like, yeah, I'm excited and nervous, but I'm glad I have you guys here. Karen is gonna get married tomorrow and we're here to help out like decorations and I'm also gonna be filming so You're lucky we need those lights. Yeah, I wouldn't come out <laughs> and let you Oh my god it's hot here. Mm. It is burning out here. Proud of me? Yes. I am. Huh? I am. This is really cool. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you very much. If it wasn't for you, I don't know how I would have done this. No, it's fine. For I'm you. glad I could you help. You and Samantha. It would, really it would look better even tomorrow. Yeah. Bam! I am excited. I will be filming my first wedding in China. Anywhere, actually. And this is great because of two reasons. One, I've known Karen and Bob for a long time. Actually, I've known Karen way longer before I knew Bob. My relationship with them puts me in a very interesting perspective as a storyteller to express their story. Secondly, this will be creatively good for me as a filmmaker. Wedding filmmaking is a different genre of filmmaking, but it is something that I think that every filmmaker should at least one point of time be able to do. Now, it doesn't take a lot compared to the traditional approach to filming, um, because there are mostly three phases of any wedding. You have the pre-wedding, you have the wedding itself, the wedding ceremony, and you have the after party or the post ceremony. Well, not ceremony because the ceremony is still part of that. Ooh, the ceremony is still part of that ceremony, but you get the gist. I've drawn out a lot of storyboards. I've put some shot lists together. I've been to the location where this is gonna happen because of COVID, we're gonna be doing this indoors. It's a Zoom wedding. It's also a very small space. There's not a lot of room to work with, which means that I need to go light. I'm a one-man crew, so I cannot have a lot of gear. So what I've done primarily is to just choose the most simplest and um, effective means of filming this whole project. So I have the, the gimbal, the, uh, the DJI RSC2 um, that I'm mostly going to be using for tracking shots, but like, you know, when she's walking down or something or the dance or something like that, I'm going to be using this. Um, I'm going to be getting most of the audio into the Zoom H5 and there's this. I'm not sure I want to use this filter yet. Um, I'm not completely sold on what it does, but I'm just going to take this just in case it looks good and and, and all of that. Also, I will be taking the the non light, the the non light fuzzer 60 is gonna go with me. So for me, this is gonna be great because you know I will get to tell my friend's story, um, and hopefully I will be able to replicate all the emotions that they can potentially um, want to relieve from this moment. Because the truth is, this is not just a generic wedding. This is a COVID wedding because it's on Zoom, so, and the story has to be that. And through all of those things, I want them to be able to watch this things back, find happiness and remember that day for what it truly is. Not a day that was difficult, but a day that day got engaged, a day that Bob um, and Karen became husband and wife, you know, and that's something beautiful. And I'm grateful, I'm humbled that I've been given the chance to be able to tell the story. I've been planning this for weeks now, for weeks, and I'm really happy um, to see how this would turn out. I'll let you guys know once the video is out so you can watch it as well. I hope that you have a great day. Enjoy yourselves, people. Enjoy yourselves. Good night.